Hello everybody, it's Diamond Kitty Gaming, and welcome back to another Iron Assault uh, f f fan map review. Ooh, he does. Ooh. Um, today we're playing Alt Country's map. This is that fan. Remember when I realized I had 200 subscribers and the fan... Um, I'm going to showcase that. Uh, sure. I mean, it doesn't look like it's loading, because... This is a little-known and very rare Iron Assault map glitch, where any map, it's even happened to mine, uh, uh, the map will not load, and it'll just do this. So, you know, that's, and that's alright. So, oh, um... So we're gonna rejoin him, but... This is the fan who was the 200th subscriber, I believe. He asked me to do his map. He apparently has around three. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice name. If I wasn't doing a map review, I'd definitely join that. Uh, apparently he has around three maps, yes. Um, he said one was a battle royale, one was... Something about the Axis, and then there was also Empires. Uh, is, his, is his map permanently glitched? Why does this ruin it? Why? Uh, uh. Hmm. This is interesting, because I've never seen it happen consecutively, one after the others, one after the other. And he only has two maps since I'm just a kid. Uh, I assume that means he doesn't have, he didn't have Robux to buy the other game passes uh, for the extra custom maps. Um, I'm not sure how... Hmm, let's try again. Yeah, one more time. One more time. Third time's the charm, as it's said, correct? <laughs> Alright. Let me let me try a different approach. This is the game he yeah um, ah, ah, wrong one. Let me take that route to join him instead of going from join game. And then... There we go. Third time's the charm! Let's do this! Hey! Third time was indeed the charm! Uh, this is an interesting looking map. Okay, so in this map, I see China's United. It's like World War. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. There is a little bit, uh, there is a little bit of changes. Wait, is that, is that changing? Yeah, Lebuski's normally owned by Poland, right? So, small countries have been annexed and peace is no option. I see. Okay, so it's... All right, I see. So there's, you might think, well, this is, you know, a, a easily not, you know, put in. Oh, small countries have been annexed. Okay, so Italy would own like those two. I see what the, I see what they mean. Um. So you might think that this is actually a simple map, but it's actually like the. I randomize you like you always do in your videos. Um. Hmm. Um. I don't. I'm not really. I don't really. Um. I always do love the uh, option to be randomized, but this time I think I want to be a, a country that can actually hold its own. 
because I, I think if I if I got randomized and I ended up like a, sm a small country like um, a Persia or something, I'd just get smashed. People who played Spain took over a lot. Yeah, because a United Spain does spawn with a, a lot of troops, don't they? I think I'm going to do France. Actually, no, maybe I will do Spain, considering I just, like, watched a lecture. Yeah, I'll do Spain. Anyways. <laughs> oh, and he chose Italy. Good old Italy. Um, he said peace was not an option, but... Um, that's that's the only... Now we can make peace. Yeah, that's... that's I, I suppose that would be the only thing where you could make peace. Now, normally, of course, I would probably be like, don't attack players, you know, but if it's a Battle Royale map, you know what you're getting into, you know you're supposed to attack other players, you know it's supposed to happen. So, now they can make peace, but no other since it's a Battle Royale. Cool. Okay, so the first, first things first, I spawned with no boats around me. Okay, so I was going to go float over to the United States, uh, but apparently I can't do that. Uh, this is annoying since I have, um, it, the map's not annoying, the map is actually really cool. Because I was, as I was about to say, um, you might think that this is, looks really simple and, but it's actually, it actually is really time consuming to add the same lot of wars to like every single, um, country in the game. That's, 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 uh, oh dear, oh dear, uh, don't mess this up, don't mess this up, where's the other 20? Okay, there we go. Send him there. I wanna, sorry, you're recording. Or what do you want to record when you make it public? Record. Uh, I'm recording now. Um. So. Ooh, this. Okay. So this. Oh shoot! I forgot about Gibraltar. Oh no. Not good. Not good. Not good. Well, I kinda united Iberia, but Gibraltar. Oh yeah. And I realized that I have these dudes as well. Okay, um, so with 20 troops, I'm just going to, you know, just do a casual advance into, uh, advance into France. Hey, I figured out that something rhymed. Oh, dear. Switzerland could have crushed me just then. They could have just went boom, 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 boom. But, you know, no AI is smart enough to know that. Gibraltar, by the way. What do you think is your best country to play? Okay, so that varies on what that varies on what um Okay, so that mine is Italy and Germany. Those are really good countries cuz they do spawn with a fair enough a uh, lot of power. Wow, he is the Roman Empire right now. <laughs> um, so basically, that that varies with a lot of things because normally I like to play smaller countries, but like in Victorian maps, I mean in Victorian maps I actually enjoy playing like countries with like one city that aren't supposed to make it. I like to play maps that. Countries that are, like, supposedly doomed to die in custom maps. Like, for example, if, uh, I don't know, um, Copenhagen was independent, and they had, like, two troops against five, and they were supposed to go out and not make it, but they did. I like playing maps. I like playing things like that. Bulgaria is about to, next to be exiled by the Spaghetti Man, indeed. Spaghetti will own everything in, in time. Oh my gosh, Gibraltar. What is Gibraltar doing? Gibraltar's putting up way too much of a defense. There we go. Um, casually elimed. Uh, I'm eliming France right now, and or rather annexing, but I'm going to need to do... I'm going to need to do boat float to... Uh, they're uh, Frenchman Islands. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, l okay, France. I mean, I know you're kind of uh, uh, hoping to uh, expand here. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I'm in a war with, like, all of it, so I just, like, keep going on and on and on, and then I go into another country and go, finally, some good borders that I can withstand and keep, and then I go, oh, wait, 
I'm just at war with the next country in line. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now I'm in Stuttgart as well. The Roman... It's the Roman. Um, Romania should be hard. I don't know why, but China always likes to take out Mongolia, probably because they're, like, the closest one to them. Has, has any one of... Has uh, any other countries perished other than Mongolia uh, to AIs and not us? I wonder... Whoa! Okay, Mexico just blazed through Central America. I I feel like we should probably go retake over our uh, little colony that once was once our colony, but is now not. Uh, hello, Italy. <laughs> I shouldn't be worried, he's my fan. I realize, can I annex things into making... I can annex things... Not annex, uh, it, um, liberate. I can liberate into making authoritarian versions of countries. You never really do see a lot of authoritarian versions of countries like, uh, I don't know, um, Republican Spain. If I liberated Republican Spain, would they just be me? Because I'm National Spain, so if I liberated Republican Spain, would they just be National Spain number two? <laughs> Okay, so first things up on our little map is uh, the Netherlands. Uh, didn't didn't Spain actually own the Netherlands at one point? I thought they did. I I can't shake the feeling that eventually I'm just gonna get attacked. On on because I have how many countries do I have? Um, close to me right now two two okay so I have Swiss which is a fairly powerful country. Oh, and also Austria. Austria. I have three, so... Uh, Switzerland, Austria, and Germany, and I extended thanks a little too much for some reason. I said thanks. <laughs> um, next up, after I start to... Germany should be hard. Yes, Germany is going to be hard, especially considering the fact that I only have, like, 15 troops all spread out. Okay, here we go. 18 troops in my mainland now. This... Still not great odds, but it should be well. Okay, so Rome is coming up from the back here, so we should be able to uh, manage with Europe for a little bit, at least. I want to. I want to get to a point where I have to like go to boats to. I, I'm just worried the fact I will allow peace. Okay, cool. Um, I I'm just a little bit worried about the fact that once I defeat Germany and then like Poland and stuff like that, I'm I'm gonna run into the Soviet Union. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm not sure if I want to run into the Soviet Union re yet. And also, I'm not sure if I want to take Dortmund or Bavaria yet because then I'll run into Brandenburg. And Brandenburg is no doubt going to have something really, really powerful in store. <laughs> so maybe, in fact, maybe I'll just go down to Switzerland and do that. That sounds like a good idea. And then Liechtenstein has no troops, I think. Wait, does Le is Liechtenstein in a war with everything, too? Yeah, okay. Uh, I can't believe Switzerland hasn't moved into Liechtenstein, or yet Germany hasn't moved into Liechtenstein, or Roman hasn't moved into Liechtenstein, or Austria. I'm going to be the first one to do that. Boom. Annex two countries, and third one coming up. Who ordered, who ordered the deep fried, the deep annexed Austria? Um, because they're ready. Okay, uh... I've kind of done, like, a weird border here. Hopefully I'll fix that. I kind of... I want to make it so I own, like, Bohemia and then, like, this area. As well as Denmark. By the way, if you if you ever see me in-game, you know I'm doing a video if I... Kitty's the next Spanish great leader. Yes, I am. Thank you. If, if you ever see me doing a video... If you ever see me in-game and you're not sure if I'm doing a video... Um, and you see me like circle like this without even chat without chatting. It means I'm trying to signal to what I want to grab or most most likely. So yeah, you have brought glory to Spain again, and you have brought back the Roman Empire. There, 
Frankel is very proud. Yes, Frankel. I, I, I forget. He's, he's that, he's that Spanish um, leader guy, right? <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not so great with leaders as I am with just general history. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, Lichtenstein as a defensive position. Oh shoot. No, I need to use Stuttgart as a defensive position. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll just... Yeah, I'll just move into Austria. I'll uh, climb up Bohemia. Move into Lubuski, and then I'll probably be stopped because there's going to be Bavarian troops, Brandenburg troops, and Dortmund on my tail as well. After that, I need to make a, I need to spare two rounds to make a city in Africa so I can start doing some pillaging. Uh, oh, okay, the United States owns the Yukon, um, slightly cursed, but if not much, I just, Mexico's Central American Empire, just, wow. South America has just decided to just not do anything, whoa, as, as soon as I said South America has decided to, Japan just went like, nah, Manos is now, is, is now mine. Like, great job, Japan, way to ruin a sentence in the middle of be, it being spoken. Okay, eight. Oh dear, nine. So, plan to move into Lubuski, temporarily stopped. I know this is kind of mean, but I'm just going to let him move into Poland, because I don't really don't want to be on the border with the Soviet Union, and uh, he will. So, yeah, I'm going to just kind of do like this, move here. I have to dupe for this. No, you don't. No, you don't. Do not dupey dupe. Do not. Do not the dupe. Do not. I don't like that notion. Never mind. Cool. Good job. I didn't even work. All right. So so we attempted to dupe and that didn't work. And then okay, it's good that it didn't work though, because you know duping is bad. Duping is cheating even against an AI, you know, just, just, just move through it, just, that's all right, just, just, just keep trying, you don't have to cheat to, to break, uh, to win, there, <laughs> eventually I got out what I was trying to say, eh, there, 16 against 14, I should at least be able to take Bavaria, but I'm scared of Brandenburg, like, I'm terrified that Brandenburg is going to be, like, 50 troops, and I'm just not going to be able to withstand it all. In fact, I think I might, since I have more power in Germany, I might go, it's just Poland has the time to pair, so has, and I'm not yet, so has uh, Germany over here. Oh, shoot, Sweden has a city now. Since I'm attacking everyone, yeah. I'm going to stay in Paris, actually. And I'm going to keep uh, moving out my troops. I'm just going to let Germany be, like, uh, temporarily good. Hmm. So I'm just going to kind of sit here, basically. That's all I'm going to do is just sit. Uh, to Moscow! Oh, wow, okay, he's he's... He was not scared of the Soviet Union like I was. Normally, I'm not scared of the Soviet Union, but, you know, m me being a small, um, semi-powerful country. I'm, power I'm more powerful than the Soviet Union, but I still don't uh, want to invade Russia at this moment. To Moscow. Hey, he, he captured Moscow. Wow. Okay, so what I would do at this moment is I'd double back into St. Petersburg and then go into Peskov, then Estonia, Latvia, uh, uh, Lithuania, then Haradna, Warsaw, uh, Bogotskits, uh, East Prussia, and then Danzig. Glory to Spaghetti Man, indeed. Okay, I'm going to continue charging up with eight troops at each border. France has just decided to just not be, uh, wanting to attack the territories that I have in Africa right now, which are only three. Oh dear, Belgium has a city now in Kasangi, so I'm gonna probably be able to snatch some French land once that that's got that gets taken out. Okay, so I now have 24 troops. I doubt that Germany has 24 troops, but I want to quickly like grab. Oops, I want to quick. I want to grab. 
Bavaria to make sure that they can't charge up. I'm dead anyways. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm dead anyways. Lol. Oh, dear. Okay, are they... I need to make an alliance with them so I can see what's in Stalingrad right now. By the way, what's what's this, like, uh, default country that we're all in an alliance with? And where are they? Because uh, they have to be somewhere for you to be in an alliance with them. So where do you hide it? Because I'm very skilled at finding out where people hide things. Oh, he is. Well, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily... I... Oh, dear! Okay, remember when I said that Germany might have, like, 50 troops? Uh, I was right about that. They have uh, almost exactly 50 troops. And I'm moving up into Denmark so I don't get annihilated by them. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm just going to... Hey, Dad! Doing a video. Um, I'm going to annex uh, mainland Denmark here and hope Germany doesn't uh, snatch some territory from me. Okay, I, I would really hope that Germany could, like, do this and just take this so I could, like, take it from them. Um, what What is in... Okay, 15 there, 18... There, oh... Okay, and he has no troops in any of his place. Okay, not good. Not GG. Yeah. Oh, right. I, I can actually... I'm dead. Not, not yet. Not yet. Don't worry. I've, I've connected a little bit of Africa now. Okay, so now that I have nine per... I need to start... If I die, we can have around two. Okay. Um... I need to start, I need to make, like, the tags if I die, yeah, if, annex to make a protective border, not annex, um, as in, do you remember the Alsace-Lorraine guys, uh, the Alsace-Lorraine line again? What's New Zealand's song doing? New Zealand is... Uh, what is New Zealand doing? Okay, he just made something independent, so I suppose that's... Okay, I'm just going to bring back the Luxembourgish Empire right now. Uh, Luxembourgish Empire. Close Germany off right now. Boom. Close Germany off. Uh, New Zealand is uh, apparently doing uh, not something not good for you, because, oh dear. No, no, don't do that. Don't, no. Okay, New Zealand owns Turin. Oof. Oh, does he not have... Wait, United Ukraine... Okay, that they are in an alliance with that. Okay, cool. I, I thought they were rebelling against him. I was about to be like, no... Oh, wow, okay, China, um, China's done, like, a huge expansion, I don't know what's going on with India right now, Kiwi beat pizza, no, they'll never beat pizza, <laughs> apparently India owns Mashhad, Punjab, uh, Bombay, and Ceylon, and that's it, and apparently Australia really does not like the Soviet Union right now, um, I'm going to generate troops in Paris and uh, probably eliminate Luxembourgish Empire again. Oh, wait. I can't really afford to do that, can I? I need to get more than 47 troops. Meanwhile, I also need to get uh, troops in Africa to start a pillaging expedition that is kind of going well for Britain right now. Uh, I also need to start moving into Belgium. I think I might, I'm gonna pause, I think I might pause the video until I can get some, like, stuff going. Hey, so I'm back, and what the heck happened to Canada? 
apparently the United States is just the Pacific Coast. Wait, no, the Atl Pacific Coast. <laughs> Ecuador was once a mighty powerful thing, but then Colombia and the United States and Brazil just decided that they were just not going to stand with that. I have a maid. Oh. Oops. Oops. I meant to say resumed. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move like this, and then I'm gonna use some things. Can I? Can I have Lebuski? Oh, he made peace with Latvia, I think, because Latvia tried to attack him. Oh no, he's doing the thing that I just did with po with Germany, but to Poland. So he's making sure that Poland can't uh, get him. No, oh, oh, okay, he's just gonna. Here. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. He uh, gave he gave that little thing to Latvia. I uh, I'm just gonna take that, and then I'll just move on. It's what I wanted, anyways. There you go. Oh, Poland. Uh, Poland. St Poland. Anyone want to talk about how Poland's on your borders? Anyone going to talk about how Poland's on your borders? Soviet's going to collapse. I mean, yes, yeah, Soviet's... Soviet, Soviet has been collapsing for a, uh, a fairly long while now, I believe. Haiti uh, took over the Dominican Republic, by the way, and then attempted to try for the Soviet Union. I mean, not the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom. Or was it Ireland? I'm not sure. Whoa, okay, you became the Italian Union. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do uh, this, because I do want to take over the communist people are very happy. You mean the Soviet Union, who's collapsing? Hello, Chinese Empire. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to make major cities. I want to... I think... I want to fix... North... North America. I wanted to fix Africa, and I wanted to fix the United Kingdom, but I think I... I think... I think North America is in an even worse position right now. And they they deserve they deserve some fixing right now because I don't I don't think they're they're going so well. So we're gonna um, help them out with air quotation marks. Oh dear, I think the United Kingdom is charging up in Hong Kong. Never a good sign when they're charging up in Hong Kong. And I can take the East Coast with little to no uh, rebellion. Okay, this cool, this cool, this epic, this this awesome. I can do this. All right. Oh dear. Okay. Uh. I Haiti is in Haiti is scary, by the way, because whoa. Okay, declares war on the Latvian SSR. <laughs> that jump scared me with that uh, notification. Oh dear. Okay. Wow. I entered an active war zone because Mexico is all over the place. Mexico, Ontario, Ontario, Mexican Ontario, though, like just that. Dwell on that for a second. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna move into Ontario though. I I do already have. I've claimed like most of the major cities in this in in the North American continent already. Except, oh shoot, oh well, I probably shouldn't have done that, I'm just gonna move back up, you know, boom. Remember when uh, Spain owned like all of Mexico, like all that, and some California too? Well, I'm, I just, I, re I redid that. Except that I own like all of, all of it. 
Oh dear, the Danish Civil Union, who is actually just the Vikings. Well, I'm gonna eat my dinner. Yeah, this map has been really awesome, actually. I enjoy how this turned out. Bye. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here as well. Thank you for watching. This has been Diamond Kitty Gaming, and yes, yes, we can. Hopefully, with other fans, too. I'll try and collect an, a number of fans, by the way, who want to be in a video. And I'll all round them up in, like, a Logan bro. Yeah, I, I think I had seen that. Um, kids facing it. Bye. Okay, so I think I'm going to round up, like, for next Iron Assault video. I'm going to do some edits to Dangerous World Map. And, uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite a bunch of different fans to, like, a private server. Or, mm, I don't have to do that, but, um... Well, I can. I can. Yeah, I'll, I, I can. So, basically, I'm going to do, like, a bunch of fans to a private server, and we're going to get in there, or whatever. Somehow, I'm going to get some fans into our server, and we can all duel on the Dangerous World map. We'll all play our respective countries, or whatever. But, uh, yeah. Thank you for, for watching. This, this Battle Royale map has been especially entertaining. It looks really simple, but I enjoy how everything gets like, really, really cursed and really, really fast as well, and I enjoy that a lot. Thank you for watching again. This has been Diamond Kitty Gaming Video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!